Hey everyone, welcome to Small Screen Reactions. My name is Andrew and I'm here director Ted Lasso, season three, episode nine. We are so close. It's kind of scary. I only have 10, 11, 12 left after this. I'm going to be done in the next week, definitely. So I hope you guys have been enjoying these reactions. I have. This episode is actually a slightly shorter, which is very interesting because I, I was thinking as the last few episodes, they were going to pump those up to like hours, over hour or something, but not only like 40 something minutes this episode very weird to me they're very weird on the lengths of the episode some of them go just like up and then it goes low the beginning of the show had like 20 30 minute episodes which was insane and then we jumped up out of nowhere and then we jumped back down and then back up just really never know just like the show you really never know what's gonna happen sometimes i'm like whoa but let's see i'm excited so let's get right into this this is a full show request from someone on patreon so you know who you are thank you very much best one of the best requests ever because i love this show and i can't wait to see how it ends but also i don't want it to end very complex feelings about this but i'm gonna just keep going anyway keep going along okay so thank you thank you all everyone else for watching and let's just get right into it okay here we go what is happening please say they're doing well This is an interesting choice in music that we've never had before. They all seem really happy, though. What if I feel like something bad's gonna happen then? Oh, look at all the fans in the stands. I didn't want to say it at the time because I'm trying to be less stuck in my fucking way. Mm -hmm. But. I thought it was nuts to change our entire philosophy and style of play mid-season. <laughs> but... <laughs> but it's fucking great. Yeah. You know, they're having fun. These folks are having fun. It's a whole bunch of fun. Yeah. No one has, ever has a problem with this I fun. I've seen 22 dudes have the Grateful Dead jamming with the Black Crows and Fish. Wow. That, was a that sounds oh, it was a mess. crazy. <laughs> they had fun. <laughs> yeah. That's what matters. Most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> great job. <laughs> Hear that? Roy said y'all did a great job. <laughs> Beard. Nice shot, mate. Oh. No. Don't be like that, Isaac. I, I thought Isaac would do better. I don't know. It's only me sad already. Just well, well, I can't remember which pretty screen and which one is dead. <laughs> That's sad. You bond your dirty socks. Just because they are dirty doesn't mean they don't deserve to have a friend. You're right. We're all mates with Rashad. <laughs> hey, Boyle. Oh. Do you want to get a beer or something later? Have a chat. Come on, Isaac. Oh, don't be. I thought you were better than this. Oh. Colin. <laughs> I know I chose the dirty socks. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> At least you learned right away. <laughs> you know how you're never ever supposed to write another text to an unanswered text? Yeah. Of course. Oh no. Oh, God, you sound like that. That's Keely. Bad Keely. Oh. oh. Oh no. So much blue. And some big I ones know. too. <laughs> Oh, Keel. Uh -oh. Jack's ghosting Keely. Oh, no. Mm. First, she wants to go on a break, and now the old digital Irish goodbye. <laughs> Which is a term I. Because I got a buddy back home named Seamus O'Malley, and that son of a gun hugs folks goodbye for like 20 minutes before he leaves the area. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sorry to hear about that. Use some biscuits, you know, just to soften the blow. Aw. Oh, okay. She's so thoughtful. Yeah, well, I didn't know you were going to be here till this morning. No time to do anything special, so I just tossed a little cash in. <laughs> That's <laughs> even sweeter than biscuits. Of course, Ted. Family first. I appreciate it. Ooh. We could have Roy do it. Uh -huh. I know he hates that stuff, but he's really good. Look at you. Heartbroken, but still kicking butt. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not heartbroken. It's more like heart bent. Ooh, oh. heart bent. That's a new one. I like that. Title for a country song. <laughs> I'm heart bent in my apartment. <laughs> Because all that you was your heart sank. <laughs> I love it. Great song. I wrote this 
is on you, man. What? No. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Okay. Mm. Okay. Why? Still a so, little uh, uncomfortable. I need you to fill in for Ted at today's press, okay? Fuck no. <laughs> Damn. I mean, why can't Ted do it? <laughs> Try again. I mean, I'd love to. <laughs> there Wonderful. we go. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh boy, I love Keely. I don't know. I want them back together. Delivery for Mr. Shelby? It's Shelby. <laughs> oh my, I'm so sorry. Hey. <laughs> she just came to visit him at work. Lunch. Figured we'd kiss it was fine. As long as I brought him back something with a West Ham logo on it. Ah. Uh, well, I can do that. Nothing. Uh, oh. Oh, you don't have to climb on a table. Oh, wow. Sorry. There you go. Um, get in there. That's just the, like one yeah, thing. Sure. Uh, just don't oh. Not. I only need one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, keep them. You're so Make talky. Them. You got to his afternoon kiss before I did. <laughs> Hello. Um. Okay, so Jade, uh, this is Rupert. My boss. Jade, um, that's Rupert, her name. Is... Well, hello there. Hello. It's worthwhile to meet you. Mm, I don't think she's gonna like him. Jade. Or does it all? It's actually short for Jaded. My mother named me after her favorite aunt, but I don't care. <laughs> Jaded. <laughs> oh, I'm south of Poland, right? Yes, I'm from Nova Sant. Oh, she's in Poland. Yeah, it's so creepy. If man wasn't so brilliant, I'd say that you were out of his league. Wow. Mm. Creepy and an asshole. All That's in one. Not... Oh, um. Jaded. He's so creepy. Why is he? Ugh. I want Giles. I don't want him. Yeah. No, he is. He's, he's actually really decent. Is he? Yeah. I own the walls. So. Do you? Oh, lovely. Asteroid filling. Ah, that explains it. What? No problem. Um. That is not what I said. Jerry. Oh, Beard did it. Here? Oh no. Say it, coach. Where's Roy? You said Joe Walsh is the better guitarist than Jimmy Page. Oh. That's what you said. <laughs> <It's> not <laughs> even about football. But what I meant, underrated, Jimmy Page, overrated. Oh. <laughs> is a poet. A fucking court stenographer on Anaheim. <laughs> Damn. Heated opinions here. Complete wall string. What do you mean, Peter? It's not a competition, man. I love it so much. I think the last time I was able to be you absolutely with that in mind, I would love to take some questions. Come on, absolutely ask me anything. Oh, maybe don't say that. Marcus Adibayo, the independent. Hello there, Marcus. How are you? In your opinion, who's the greatest classic rock guitarist of all time? Oh my god. Why why are we getting into this? It's football. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> the guy from Creed. The guy from Creed. <laughs> that was Oh, Rebecca. Oh, Rebecca going after Roy. Oh, oh Roy and versus Rebecca. This is about to get dangerous. Yes. <laughs> Bless How did did my winter? Easily. Yeah, we don't start counting until it hurts. There you go. If it's through. easy, then you go harder. Hi. Kent, get your hairy ass into my office now. Oh. <laughs> Single one of you. Knows my ass isn't hairy. <laughs> None of you spoke up. <laughs> That's what you. <laughs> I will never forgive you. <laughs> oh my God, Roy! <laughs> Why do you care so much? You right. <laughs> we're cowards. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Who's in the <laughs> Oh, 
What is wrong with you, Isaac? In frogs in science class these days, or is it all just talking about the frog feelings now? <laughs> Good point. Coach, can I? Yeah, besides helium. Exactly. Isaac knows. The test on his failing science. No. <laughs> he won't talk to me. Mm. Give him a minute. Yeah, maybe he just needs some you time. You don't have to, but some people need it. Don't forget, you've known you've gay for 20 years. Much longer than that. <laughs> and once I was out of my mum, I never looked back. <laughs> Love that. But I hear you. That's true. Give, I'm I guess, give him some time to think about it. Yeah. Just needs hey, to process well, you know, it. Favorite, Isaac Newton. Shouldn't have he to process so it, honestly. Earth. It's not something to process. <laughs> but, to okay. Go. The fuck is your problem? Oh. Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> you are. <laughs> if I asked you to do a press conference, she's your boss, do Roy. The fucking. So you just didn't do it. Is that the plan for the rest of your life? Oh. You're just gonna walk away from everything the second it isn't fun or easy. Oh damn. It's about kill you a little bit. What do you bit. want? What do you really want? I just want to be left alone. Oh bullshit, Roy. <laughs> Call it's him way out. More yes. Than that convinced that you don't deserve anything good in your Damn. life. Damn. rather eat a bowl of shit soup and then complain about the portion. Ooh. Get out of your own way, man. Oh. This whole oh. woe is me thing you've got going on is just Yes, so Rebecca. Ponderous. Yes. Is that all? Mm hmm Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> For now. <laughs> She's not wrong. <laughs> Whew, breathe, you're good. I think we should play without a goalie, you know, just to give him a chance. Yeah. <laughs> I love it when you're cocky. Uh, I don't. But it's like this fake cockiness he puts on for just Rupert. Yeah, didn't even ask, just went so right So lovely to meet Kate. Oh, Jade. Jade. It's Jade. Oh, yes. Nothing better than the love of a woman. Oh, he's so creepy. Everything he says. Oh. Yeah. Rupert's not the guy you think he is. And you're starting to realize it. It's weird we're watching one of these his West Ham games without Richmond there. Hey, after the match, let's go for a drink. Do you like good? That would be great. Shall I invite Jade? No, Not that kind of drink. Oh yeah, that would be lovely. I mean, I mean cool. <laughs> he wants to be friends with him so badly. Right. And Rupert knows it. He just has to say a few nice things and he gets him right back on his side. Great, I love. The way Richmond are playing, a more accurate description would be yellow hot. No, okay. Chris, and now free to wait until we're off air. <laughs> Beer, this? champagne? Wow. Bottoms up. Beer and champagne glasses, that's a new one. <laughs> Can't taste better. Denizens of the dog track have seen that. Percy, did you just text me? I did. I'm sitting for you. I see that now. Yeah, why'd oh, you text? Oh. She's saying that she's in Argentina. Wow. For the next couple of months. Oh. Ouch. Well, I think our break is actually enough. Yeah. It's okay, so, Kitty. Jack, please feel free to say it. Any of the things that you didn't like about There we go. Here we go. Oh, her <laughs> handshake was way firm. You know, That's <laughs> so weird and random, Leslie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. Go get him, Captain. Come on, you're not even going to. Isaac. Wow. Really? It's one thing if you have to like think about it, but say hi to him. Give. He's still. You're the coat. You're the captain. Really? You won't even touch him. Go ahead, Captain Council. Richmond on C. A B C. That's that's actually that's awful. I'm really if unless Isaac can explain this a little bit, I get maybe if it's like part of his. Oh 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 no. 
I get if it's maybe like against his religion or growing up and upbringing, he maybe needs time to like get over it, but. Oh my god. Football fans look crazy. Van Damme, yeah. Just like in the movie Time Cop, where he does the splits twice. It's not fair. He passed his back to Matt. Oh. Oh no. Oh shit, oh shit. Oh. Okay, this one fan needs to calm down. Don't be a pissed off, Colin. You did a mistake too. Oh my god. Isaac. Isaac, you made a mistake five, like a minute earlier. This is insane, Isaac. I don't like this Isaac at all. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh. Oh, so close. No, I think we need to have this whole Colin Isaac thing before the next half. Or we're never... It's never gonna win. These two can't work together. Shut up. Oh. Oh no. Isaac, 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 Isaac. Oh shit. Oh shit. Isaac. Oh shit. Oh my god. Yeah, clearly. He needs to. What the fuck is going on? Was he pissed off because he was called Vagony? Doesn't like gay people? Or is he pissed off because he finds it offensive? I don't know which one it is. Oh my god. Where to begin? Why do I feel like this is about to make me cry? I'm feeling emotional already because of all this. I know you won't say nothing. Sure. No, I'll kick it off. Okay. Right, what the hell happened? <laughs> One of my fans said some ignorant shit. Okay, so you think it's ignorant. That's good. Okay. okay well, uh, I, I heard it. Okay. He said the F word. Fuck. No. no the other F word. Oh. Oh, God. If it helps, the fan has been removed. Good. He was and an I asshole. Apologize to my dad. What? Sorry, not the time for jokes. Yeah, really <laughs> not. Okay. okay, I get it. I get it. I... Inexcusable. All right. But man, your reaction to it. Yeah, the, ain't gonna be taught any very any bad reaction. Time soon. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. There's nothing we haven't had before. Yeah. Exactly. It's just pooper. Ignore it's it. It's just pooper. Ignore it. What one of us is gay? Oh god. Uh, we shouldn't have to deal with this shit. Don't out Colin, please. At this point it kind of seems like Isaac could be gay. All right. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I think Roy actually may be the one to handle this. <laughs> so it was like <laughs> Jamie Guys it's pretty obvious Isaac's gay right? Uh no speaking population is homosexual Yeah It's not that surprising There could be more than one of you on the so team There are probably more people in this room who are gay Hmm Everyone looks at Jamie. <laughs> I'm flat. Yeah. Okay. All Isaac needs now is our support. And he's hearing the support they have for Isaac. Maybe this is a good time. Whatever it was, isn't what you're really angry about, is it? No. Is he angry that Colin? Didn't tell anyone, and he's like, so then feels that he couldn't trust and comfort the team. You gotta go deal with that. Do you actually do care about? Yeah. But 
it's so hard to see Isaac so emotional. He's right, you know. Oh, Will. Whoa. <laughs> Why is he always just there? Little things we get mad about. One sneeze away from an avalanche that will kill us all. So random, Will, but yeah, I agree. Thank you, Will. <laughs> you guys want some bubble gum? <laughs> he told them. Are we cool? Of course. Aww. Yeah. Cole has been so scared about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aww. Big whoop. But we don't care, right, guys? No. First one, he ate an entire seven layer dip from Price Chopper all by himself. That seems like a lot. And it just, apparently, he destroyed the toilet in his parents' basement. <laughs> yeah, I remember the rumor. Where is this going? That he caused $9,000 worth of damage. Damn. Could you imagine? To a toilet. Nine thousand bucks. That wow. The next year, I wasn't there because I didn't care. Oh. But I should have cared. You know. Support your friends. I should have supported. Them. Yeah. Sharing that seven layer dip with my friend while he was garbage ass team in back to back. <laughs> Coach, did you just compare being gay to being a Denver Bronco? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Denver Broncos. Oh Two God. It's an American football reference, an absolute fumble in the situation. <gasps> really? Yeah. Okay. But it, the point is, Colin, we don't not care. Aww. We care very much, and what you must have been going through. That's very nice to like show that you understand now, he's been going through a lot. You don't have to go through it all by yourself. Oh. Don't make me cry. Yeah, hey, we got you. Okay, well, look, hey, I hate to bring up work in a moment <sighs> like this, but the second half of a match to play, Coach, what do we got? We do. Play the man down. What do we do differently? Nothing. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, okay. All right, Captain, count us off. That's you now, right now, oh, Sam. Well yeah. Yes. Um, and, um, I, I love you guys so very much. On three. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> that was a very sweet moment. I love that. Best or worse than you imagined? Uh, second best way it could have gone, I think. Oh, yeah. Best way being the Intergay Suite. And we get to be on the cover of Oprah's magazine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that definitely is the best way. That's going to be a great part of the book. You'd rather spend time with Jade than Cracking Rupert easily. Oh, yeah. So I'm so, but um, I see you going for a drink with Rupert tonight. Oh. There's two of us. Are you in trouble? <laughs> what? No, no, it's just cool. Maybe next time. Yeah. I would not go out with Rupert. He's going to try to, like, hook him up with some... Skulls or something. Yeah. Oh, they won? What happened with the conversation with Roy and Isaac? Where's Isaac? Oh, nice, Colin. Both goals. Wow. Finally gets to be himself, and he's feeling good about it. I'm so happy for him. Went into the stands to attack one of their own fans. In fairness, I wanted to do that a few times myself. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but you didn't, because you're not a psychopath like Macadoo. Oh, don't call him a psychopath. That's a bit strong. He you lost it for one stand. moment. I don't care what was said, and that's why Macadoo wasn't captain when I was there, because he's not fit for it. I mean, Bullshit. Come on, he makes Roy Kent look like Bambi. <laughs> no. What was he thinking? He's in big trouble. Guy probably deserved it, though, right? Yeah, Absolutely. definitely. No doubt. I hope his kids shiv him in his sleep. <laughs> oh, damn. What? He was a dick to my niece Claire once. No Damn. Fucking crazy. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Rupert. Yeah, hey, he's got. Nathan. He's trying to cook him up with some girls. Uh, oh. And, uh, he's happy with a girlfriend. <laughs> he's so gross. You have a child and a wife at home. joining us tonight. Shall we? Yeah, you should say something. You should leave. 
Don't stay in there. This is this idea of a guy's night or any night Roger. out. Room. Yeah, it's gross, Nate, and you know that it's wrong. He's not a good guy. You shouldn't want to be friends with him. Don't you should not want him to like you. Long story. I, I wanted to come and tell you in person. Yeah, Rupert can tell. Ugh. I'm proud of you, Nate, though. Congratulations, Ted. That's eight wins in a row. Oh, come on now, Trent. You know I don't care about Eight that. wins in a row? That's so nice. <laughs> oh, the truth is, the only way I could be happier is if my arm feet were covered in barbecue sauce. <laughs> How you feeling about the wind streak, bro? Mm. Mm. No way. Do not come near me with that shit. <laughs> never talk. My grandparents were happily married for 51 years because they never said a fucking word to each other. Scram. <laughs> Welcome, gentlemen. Another one. Oh, boy. Higgins hitting us with his DJ Khaled impression. Nice. Who? What? Real <laughs> okay, so. Press is ready for you, Ted. It's a big one. That's what that lady from the American office said. <laughs> okay. I'll be right there. No. I haven't done that in a long time. Uh, Ted's, Ted, oh, Roy, never mind. Ted's not handling it. Roy will. Oh. <laughs> yeah, all right. You got me today. Any questions? <laughs> you, five o'clock shadow head. <laughs> Do you condone what Isaac McAdoo did today? What a stupid fucking question. Oh, damn. Then why'd you do it? <laughs> What's he gonna say? Nothing? Really? When I was oh, first okay. coming <laughs> up, fucking nuts. He battered me. Properly. I had a black eye, <laughs> chip too. Three broken ribs. Damn. And he got to tell me he and his wife had lost the baby. Oh. A month before all that went down. Yeah, you never know what's going on in people's lives. He hadn't told anyone. One joke can mess with someone. It's all inside. Ever abusive shit they want of footballers. But they're not just footballers. People. They're also people. Yeah. And none of us know what is going on in each other's lives. Now that is a Ted Lasso worthy speech here. That was great. Isaac, even though it was wrong, I give him love. Oh. And my fucking business. There you go. Next oh, I'm gonna tee you up again. Yeah, Ooh. yeah, he's a hell of a player and a great man. Yeah. I think we've underused him. I think you're right. I agree. Glad we agree. Mm -hmm. I prefer you to old Trent. <laughs> Next question. Good job, Roy. <laughs> Goblin. <laughs> yeah. Appreciate what you have, Nate. Don't be like Rupert. You don't want to be like him. Oh, is Isaac visiting Colin? <laughs> Let's have a real conversation now. For years. Can't blame him for lying, though. What is though. it about me that made you think you couldn't tell me? It's not about you, though. It's about him. No. It was nothing to do with yeah. you. Yeah. It was about me. Exactly. I, I just said that. I was 99% sure that you support me. Yeah. The one percent chance that you would exactly. It's that one percent. Get the shit out of me. I don't know you did it. Can't keep a secret for shit. <laughs> Another reason I didn't tell you. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. I hid it from people for years, and the second you find out, I didn't last a month. <laughs> <laughs> no. The team knows. That's what matters. That's enough for me. Yeah. The people no he cares about. Shit. I promise. Oh. oh, this episode. Is top or bottom sex positions or sleep arrangements? <laughs> Sexual positions. 
and there's funk beds around. Playing FIFA, of course. Would you ever shag a woman? No, I'm gay. <laughs> I know, but what have you had to? 1967, Raquel Welch. My man. <laughs> Who's the fittest guy on the team? I won't tell you, and you'd never guess. Oh. Bumble catch. Yes. Wow. <laughs> what about team shower? Uh, I keep my head down and I think of global warming. Ah. Yeah, but if I had to shower with a bunch of girls all the time, I'd definitely get boned. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, boy. <laughs> and you can't say it, can you? No. <laughs> but you know I do, yeah? Yeah. No, I get that. I can't say it. But people know that no. This was great. Oh. This was an emotional episode. Especially for me. I, I, I connect with Colin a lot, obviously. And... Having his story this season has really just... It's been great for me. I love it. Whew, it's been emotional, though. God, up and downs. It's just... Really, the big things this episode with is with Colin, Isaac, and Roy. That's basically the big stuff going on. So let's start with Roy. He got a shouting at by Rebecca because he didn't go to the press conference like he said he was going to. And then... And then, though, he handles this thing with Isaac and... Um, Colin, this whole thing, especially the Isaac thing and the questioning, it's truly Ted worthy, Ted Lasso worthy, like speech about someone and how you just don't know what people are going through in their lives. So you got to think about that when you're making a joke about them. You like, you never know how it's going to affect them. It might be seem like just trivial, small little thing, but something you can say can really hurt someone. So you got to be really careful and really mindful. It, even if it's a random stranger, you just don't know. That that itself was very emotional because you just yeah you don't know. And then um, the Isaac, I was part of me was like, I know Isaac's good guy. He's not upset with Colin because he's gay. I was like, there's no way. But part of me was also like, what if he is? That's also probably the percentage of me where it's like that one percent chance that. They'll react badly, as Colin said there. There's always that 1% that you gotta fear. And it's hard not to feel like maybe Isaac is a, was upset that he was gay. But I think I did know, as I said earlier in the episode, that I think it might just be that he didn't like that Colin was lying to him and didn't trust him enough to say anything. But all they needed to... Uh, all Isaac needed was a good talking to from Roy, and then he just needed to talk to Colin and really be like, why didn't you trust me enough? And you got to understand, even if, like, you, like, oh, I know for a fact before I came out, I know, like, I know people are going to be fine with it. The people I know are going to be fine. But you still have that 1% thing that makes it, that is so much stronger than that 99% that it terrifies you. You, it paralyzes you. It makes it so hard to even say it sometimes to, you just don't know. You just don't know, and you never will know every time you have to tell anyone. You never know the reaction, and that's just rest of your life, basically. You meet a random person, and I'm like, every time you meet someone new, you just never know how they're going to react to it. No matter how well, and sometimes there's the people that you think are going to react well to it, but don't. And there are the people you think that won't react well to it that do. It's really just one of those, you never know. And it's terrifying. So I am 100% there with Colin there. And I'm happy that he and Isaac got to have that conversation. Isaac is going to protect him forever now. I love that little moment at the end with them being like, um, I love you. Colin was like, I love you, man. And he's like, and she, Colin was like, I know you can't say it, can you? And he's like, Isaac's like, I can't, but you know. That I'm like that. That's me personally. I'm not someone who ever says love. I, I'm not good with that. That's a whole, it's a family thing. At least me and my sister, I think. I'm worse. I'm probably the worst one at it in my family of people I know. I don't trust easy. I have all sorts of like, what, daddy issues, parent issues, family issues, personal issues, just so many issues that and I don't say it unless I really mean it and I really feel comfortable with someone if anything, I say to dogs more, animals, love saying it to them, it's very hard. But the people that know, I do know. And I just, 
I don't need to say it for them to know, hopefully. But, oh, such a great episode. Very short, too. Oh, forgot to mention that. We forgot to talk about Nate. I forgot about that for a moment. Uh, Nate is happy in a relationship, but I think he's realized, finally, that Rupert is not a good guy, and he doesn't want to be like Rupert. He has a nice girlfriend, and Rupert is trying to hook him up with girls when Rupert has a wife and a baby at home. I'm like, do you want to be that guy? And clearly, finally, Nate was like, I don't, and left. He walked away from it. I still I still theorize that by the end of this season, by the end of the series, Nate's going to go back to Richmond. There's no way he's staying there. He may have maybe been there for Rupert, with Rupert and being there with the, uh, West Ham for a little while made his confidence go up, which was good, what he needed. and knows he's got it, but he has no, there's no love, there's no comfort at that place. He's just an employee compared to at Richmond when he felt all this compassion and support from people around him. And I think he took it for granted. And now he's realized he wants that. And I think he will go back. And I love Jade. Jade, love her. Love her too. Get why. Just great episode. It's great episode. Emotional moments all around. With some comedy in between them all. The moment when Colin came out and like the teammates were like, yeah, we get it. And then the speech from Ted that's not like, we don't care, is actually not that great. Which... I, yeah, I agree with saying like, yeah, I don't care about that. Go ahead. You should care. Not caring, I think, is worse than caring like negatively. Than be, you can like be mad at something. You can care a lot about it. And then there's like not caring, which means you're just like indifferent. That's kind of like um, the episode with Rebecca's um, dad's funeral when her mom, when Rebecca said she like, was pissed off at her mom and hated her for letting her dad treat her that way. And the mom said she's happy that she hates her because it's better than she thought what she thought she was, which was indifferent to her and didn't care about her. It's better to be hated than to be indifferent. Indifferent, no care in the world at all about what could happen. That's, that's kind of shitty. At least if there's some hatred, if there's some anger there, there's also some love in there. With, it, with every love, there's anger. With every anger, there's love. There's, they're connected. So, I love that little speech from Ted. Even though, yes, I don't know why you're paying gay to be in the Denver Broncos, especially to a football team that they don't know what the Denver, Denver Broncos are. It was all sorts of just, like, message overall great. Could have used a different story, maybe. <laughs> Not one of his best, but still good. Roy's was the best. I love Roy's. That was great. Okay, that was a short episode, and I feel like I talked a lot about it, but it was a very well-done episode. I loved it. It's only three left. Oh, my God, this show is going to make me cry at these last two episodes, I, I swear. They're in the finale. I don't know what's going to happen there. Whew. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching with me. Yet again, thank you for the person who requested this. You know who you are. And just thank you all for the support on this channel, for watching these videos and everything. You guys are great. I love you all. Wow, look, I said it. It's because you're not actually, like, in front of me. That's why. Much easier to do it to a camera than it is to a person in front of you. Ugh. Scares me just thinking about it. Okay. Hope you're all having a great day. And I'll see you at the next episode. Bye.